All right, and good morning and welcome. Uh, today's journey starts right here. Um, I am standing in the uh, fourth largest city in North America, and that city is, uh, you can't quite see it, but that is the CN Tower. I'm in Toronto, and uh, we're starting our trip from here today, and we're going to do something I've never done before, and I'm going to a place where I've never been before, and I've been here for 20 years, so this should be fun. Uh, what we're doing today is taking Via Rail, uh, which is Canada's national railway system and we're going to take that over to uh, Montreal which is Canada's second biggest city so uh, let's go As this is my first time traveling with VRL, I've noticed something different than what we do in the UK. You have to line up to board your train. Literally, you have to line up, form a nice orderly queue, and line up. Something I've never seen before for boarding a train. Look at this. Yeah. Turned it away from you. I'm not gonna film you, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. are pretty good. Actually, they're very good. So far we're two hours into this uh, journey on Via Rail. Uh, first time on Via Rail and uh, I'm enjoying it, it's pretty good. I'm joined with a good friend of mine who's come to help me out in Montreal because I know no French whatsoever. So that would be a disaster. But this, this could be quite funny because my interpreter has the thickest Scottish accent ever. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to be in Montreal and uh, this is my interpreter, he apparently does speak French, uh, kind of, with a very thick French accent, uh, Scottish accent I should say. So anyway, uh, two hours into the trip here on Via Rail, um, overall I'm really impressed with this, comparing it with trains I've ridden before, especially in Europe. Uh, 
the leg room is fantastic in this. This is basic economy that I'm in. Um, to let you know, I paid 100 bucks return, uh, escape, uh, let's call it escape fare? The escape yes. fare. Yeah, we did that. We got the escape route fare, which is 100 bucks plus tax uh, for a return ticket. And we chose the direct route, which is five hours from Toronto to Montreal. And uh, so far, it's really good. The train is clean, it's quiet. I like the lighting. As soon as we started going, the dim the lights, and uh, that was quite nice. It's very relaxing. The seats are extremely comfortable, very comfortable. Um, we have our own little table. Oh, the lights disappearing because we have a train going past us right now, as you can see. So, I kind of lost my light. Okay, now that train's gone, we can continue because you can see my face again. All right, uh, one of the tests I want to do on this, does this train meet the Jeff Marshall test? Let's find out. It's quite low down, but uh, what I do like is this window is huge. Look at this. It, you feel like you're sitting slightly higher up and you get a really good view so this is really really good I do like this this is much nicer than some of the trains I've been on before um, you can't really lean against the window but then again I do have an armrest on my chair which kind of helps too Uh, better than an airplane. Look at this for a recline. <laughs> now that is comfy. And this is just basic economy on a train. I don't think the trains recline like this in the UK. I don't recall ever been on a train like this. No, definitely not. So this is this is actually really nice. I kind of like this. All right, snack time, so I'm gonna order something to eat and drink and uh, see how much this costs me. All right, so I just ordered myself a coffee and a sandwich. Now I'm gonna be traveling business class on Via Rail. Uh, your ticket will give you a box meal, similar to that, like you'll get on an airline. You also get unlimited uh, drinks as well. Uh, but here in the, uh, I won't say cattle class because we're actually sat very comfortable, but here in economy and uh, escape economy, uh, you have to pay for your food if you want it. And you know what? It's reasonably priced. I mean, like anything else, which is in the middle of nowhere, you got to pay a bit more. But I got myself a ham and cheese croissant and a coffee, and I got Brian a coffee and $13 for the. Uh, for the three things so it didn't really break the bank uh, but maybe on the return trip I'll buy my own lunch and bring it on board oh. it's, a, it's heavy it's like a, it's like a rock tastes good though